we traced what happens with BPA, bisphenol A from plastic, what happens in your body when it gets in there? Well, first of all, I'm going to give it to you very quickly because it's, it's lengthy and complicated. Number one, these chemicals get stored in your fat. The BPA literally gets stored in your fat. It gets also stored in your brain. Now, why would, they, why would it get stored in your brain? Because the surroundings of your neurons are fatty. So any fat in your body is including your belly and your butt, but including your brain. Now, I don't care too much if, if a BPA accumulates in your butt. I do care if it accumulates in your belly, and I really care if it accumulates in your brain. So chemicals, this BPA is stored in your fat, your brain, and other lipids in your body. They, it starts to leach out when those stores of fat well, are full. It floats freely and poisons and damages other enzymes in your system. It recycles. The body tries to detoxify it. So what happens is your detox pathways get overloaded so that new chemicals can't be detoxified. Can you see that? I mean, we can only detoxify a certain amount in a certain amount of time. If your stores, if your rooms, if your storage areas are filled with BPA and it's now starting to spill out into your body, your body's going to shunt it towards the detox pathways automatically, phase one. And that's going to jam up the work so that other things can't be detoxified. On top of all of that, with all that BPA in your body, and this is the most dangerous of all, we find the formation of other substances, we call them metabolites, that are even more dangerous than the BPA. For example, the BPA will form, and this has been documented over and over again, toxic hydrogen peroxide. And what does that toxic hydrogen peroxide do? It only destroys and breaks down your cell membranes. And when you break down your cell membranes, whether they're neurological cells or any other cell, that cell is going to die. And guess what neutralizes that activity? Glutathione. But we said that BPA inhibits methylation. So your body runs out of glutathione because of all the BPA. You now have cell damage that's unchecked. I mean, and I could go on for the next three days. I mean, this is a seven-day lecture I could do on just this one topic of what happens to BPA in your body. Just remember, it gets stored in your fat. It then starts to spill out when that storage locker is full. It floats in your body and it poisons and damages enzymes, especially the enzymes that detoxify it by depleting a killing cell membranes and depleting glutathione with all these hydrogen peroxide products that it forms in your body. That's why supplementing your body with extra glutathione is absolutely essential. And if this whole thing is not checked, you are looking at carcinogenesis, the beginning of different forms of cancer, whether it be breast or prostate or neurological neurotoxicity and so on. Pretty frightening, huh? And it's not just me and you and a few other people that are concerned about this. 98% of the population has got BPA. But the industry says, ah, don't worry about it. You can excrete it. You get rid of it. That's not what the, that's not what the research shows, I'm afraid to tell you.